Check, 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 suck. Mm. Suck the check. Check it up. Oh, fuck. Oh! Check the suck. Check the suck. I was recording. Oh, uh, oh. Anyway, welcome back to the basement yard. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you turned it on. Usually our, our, our mic checks are way more explicit. Way more offensive. Yeah, that too. Um, anyway, what's going on my wire here? I'm all fucked. You're all tangied? I'm all fucked. Oh, tangy boy. Look at you. What? I said tangy boy? Tangy boy? You're all tangy. I'll make up. you a little louder too. Thanks, thanks, thanks. We're a mess. It's anyway, right. here we go. One, two, three. Oh, give it to me. Yeah. Nice. Like that? That's crisp. Which one's that? Because that's that's the thing that you do to someone who who has a drinking problem. Yeah, for sure. How was that? Oh god, it's so great. It's all your dreams came true? Not all of them, but I'll tell you this. Nine what? I had a dream die recently. You had a dream die? Yeah. It, it, uh, my, I, I've never been, uh, I would say I've been heartbroken maybe twice in my life. You okay. know? Second grade girlfriend. Mm-hmm. You know? Yo, you're one of those kids that told every girl that you ever like met that you loved her. Absolutely not. No? No. Wow. What kind of animal are you? A real one. You've never been like <laughs> a, a second grader and been like, I like you. I like you too. And then like the next day it was like, I love you. No, I've, I've never, honestly, I was never really in love until like. You weren't in love. I wasn't in love either, but I was, t- I was out here right. just throwing them around. No, no, no. Like I would say 15, I was like, all right, I love somebody. But like before then I was just like, oh, I'm just trying to forget my freak. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm not talking about actually. I'm talking about like you never were one of those kids that like your away message was like, uh, three ten ninety eight till forever, and you thought this was gonna be it? No, it's two G, it's two G, two G, two G back then. You're but, not uh, cool. No, <laughs> I'm not cool. Yeah, I'm not. You're not. No, I'm not. That's but, what you're supposed to do when you're a kid. You you just everyone thinks you're in love. Were you, first... were you were you an ask for a hug guy? What? Were you an ask for a hug guy? Can I have a hug? Yeah. No. There's those. I was afraid of girls, bro. There's those. Yeah, there's guys who are like, yo, let me get a hug. Always you remember, hugging. Do you remember when you were younger and the hug started to get introduced yes. to you? And you're like, oh, shit, we're hugging these bitches now? Yeah. <laughs> you know <what> I'm <laughs> yeah, like, usually we just have to say hi from far away, but it's like, oh, shit, now what, this is cool. What I can feel their titties on me. Yeah, and you, you, that you would think that, too. Or you would feel their bra. Yo, feeling a bra was so... F- I miss feeling bras. I know. They were you know? cool. They were great. They yeah. were cool. they were just as good as titties back then. Yeah. Not as good now, but like back then, definitely as good. Just like, oh, I felt her bra. And you remember when uh, the kiss on the cheek started to get implemented? Yes. The girls who started doing that, they're whores now. Yeah. Because it started with a kiss like in, in like seventh grade, but then all of a sudden it started kissing dicks yeah. in like 10th. Smelling like Marlboro lights. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But that yeah. was the right shit back in the day. Yeah. Yo, hugging was such a big deal. Yeah, but you weren't like... Can I get a hug? No, nah, I wasn't. But I was just like, you know, implied hugs right. is what I'm talking about. Just what, being like, oh, okay. What grade does the hug start? I, I would say like middle school, but like the end of sixth grade. You know what I'm saying? Once it starts to get hot, when it gets hot, right. like May, June, like right at the end, it's like, all right, I'm going to hug these bitches because it's going to be a long summer. I would say more seventh grade. Yeah. Because here's why. I feel like when you go to like where I grew up, like people would go away to camp. And like, kind of like their first like little their little thing would be like sixth grade, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then seventh grade, their season, they've already kissed a boy, so like hugging's not a big deal. Yeah. So now you're hugging, you know. Eighth grade, you're full on hugging, like arm around, like hanging out, holding hands, type holding shit. hands type shit. Yeah. And then ninth grade, it's just it's time to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I remember in eighth grade, uh, I was quote unquote dating this girl. By the way, one time I told my mom that I was, I was going out with this girl. And her response was, <laughs> I thought you'd have a better response. But I was like, mom, I'm going out with this girl now. And she goes, where are you going out? The, with a fucking bus stop? That's what she said to me. Wow. Wasn't supportive. Shot you down. Yeah, shot me down. There's um, the dark side to her. Shout out to her, though. Yeah. <laughs> she probably didn't say it the way that I did. <laughs> not, yeah, no, but she definitely said the bus stop thing. I remember that. Um, In a way, she's right. No, yeah, I mean, you I'm know. not. And also, yeah, I, I've said this before, but that girl broke up with me, and she actually said that I think we should see other people. Oh. In sixth grade. In school. She's a gangster, that girl. Yeah. She yeah. got that line from someone. You don't just learn. You don't just say that. Yeah, my sixth grade girlfriend, she broke up with me in the summer. By the way, we dated for nine months, never kissed. That's that's yeah. sixth grade. That's what Hugged I'm saying. Hugged a lot, though. Like, I was getting after that. 
It's so weird when somebody's your girlfriend and you don't do stuff to them. <laughs> Isn't it? Like a part do of your stuff like, to them? Yeah, like kiss them on the mouth or hug their body. No, I, I was, I was, I was, trust me, I was getting after But it's just weird that like people knew that you were boyfriend and girlfriend, but you never did stuff. And it was also weird because people would be like, just kiss her. And like at that point, that makes you not want to kiss her. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's, no. It just made me feel weird. No. But she told me in the summer, she's like, I think we should see other people. Damn. Yeah, because yeah, she fucking went away to camp and got yeah. turned out. Shout out to her, by the way. I, I saw her like three years ago. I was like, oh, hey, what's up? What's up? Yeah. You could have had all this. Could have. <laughs> Should have put out in sixth grade. Oh man, if ladies, put out. I would have cried if she did that. I would, ladies, I would have lost it. Yeah. Yo, do you remember the 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 pinky uh, the pinky like touching? No, no, no. Oh, remember? <laughs> you did like the. <laughs> remember those? Nah, yo, I've never been one of those people. I've never, but I've made seen, promises I've seen it. like yo, a pinky promise. I ew, think ew. if a guy and a girl have a handshake that it ends with something like that, yeah. I hate it. I hate. I hate. Don't do a handshake into a kiss. I don't like handshakes as an adult. If you're not like on the Clippers, yeah. why are you doing handshakes? Yeah. If you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like if, if you, you don't play a professional sport, don't handshake. Exactly. Like if you need to hit a walk off grand slam to like have a cool five. So That's what I'm saying. Yeah, for sure. You need to be hitting like 320 or something. Yeah. You know what I mean? 320, 40 dingers. So and saying, and you could shoot threes. But don't be like uh you know just you, you work construction and you are at the bar like oh yeah what's up man. Yeah. And then you're like, yo, are you fucking guys done? Be, yeah, right? Be like, yeah, I know, but I, uh, here's that five bucks. All right, I'll see you later. Yeah, it starts all over again. By the way, I love this guy. That guy? What guy? The guy, it's like, it'll be the meme, be like, uh, oh, oh, oh. after I eat chips or something. Yeah, <laughs> he's he's, he's, he's like, the, he's like, doing like a clap music. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I'm there. tired now. I hit myself kind of hard. Yeah, me too. My chest hurts. self punish myself. But no, nah, but... Uh, <laughs> I love how you said self-punish. Is that a thing? I don't know. That just sounds sexual, though. I know. Like self-punishing? Yeah. Do you do that? No. You ever jerk off and just like, oh my God, and squeeze uh, your nipple? Do you like any pain during sex? Um, I guess so, yeah. Like pleasurable pain? Yeah, of course there is. Pleasure pain? Gotta be some pain. Hell yeah. It can't yeah. just be nice. No. It's gotta be like, as soon as you think it's nice, you've not... That Not part. like that. These are brand and, new and, this, and this isn't a face, by the way. This yeah, was no, a no. butt or a thigh. No, I mean, I mean, it could be a face sometimes. If they want that. Yeah. If they want that. Yeah. You know, some some people do. Some people want to get slapped in the face. Is that? Is that weird? You think? Nah. Yo, when you really think about That's it. That's dominating somebody though. Yeah, slapping the shit out of them. Oh my god. A hey, girl could slap a guy too. Yeah. There's one of my friends who I know likes getting slapped. <laughs> really? Yeah, and you know them. Yeah, in the face. Mm-hmm. Or like on the butt. No, in the face. Damn, that dude watches way too much porn. Uh, I I don't know, but <laughs> he likes getting slapped in the face. Good for him. Yeah, good. I mean, I don't know if it's like happening all the time, but I know in the past it's happened, and he was like, "Whoa, I like that." He thought it was hot. He thought it was hot. He thought it was sexy wow. hot. <laughs> he did. I swear to God. Sexy hot. Or some pain, but none of that like blood stuff. I don't think spitting sexy hot. You don't think it's sexy like hot? Like spitting in someone's mouth. I mean. You think it's sexy hot? Not my mouth. That's what I'm saying. I'd do it. Yeah. I'd do it if if they wanted it. Right. I'm not just out here just like, you know, spitting into mouths. Yeah. yeah. I've also never done that. I also, on the record, have never done that. But I'm just saying I'd do it. Yeah. So back to my broken heart. Yeah. I just, it it's was, all right. Please go forward. <laughs> <laughs> and our ads are pulled. For there the we go. No, but... uh. Oh, our ads have been, um, been pulled a long time. Yeah, ago. right. No, but um, I found out something very, dra- like very uh, devastating this week. Um, mm-hmm. I um, I don't even know if I could say this without crying. <laughs> what the fuck? I got blocked. You got blocked. Who blocked you? Stone Cold Steve Austin. Stone Cold blocked you. Blocked me on Twitter. On Twitter. Yep. What about Instagram? We're still good. Oh, we're still good on Instagram. Yeah, okay. We're still on top. That's the big one now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, 
Wait, why did he block you on Twitter? What did you say? No idea. You said no something? Idea. You had to have said something? Nope. Stone Cold's not just blocking people for no reason. Even people in the thread, because you know how people are on Twitter. They went back and looked, and they were like, you've never said anything offensive to him. Oh, you tweeted that you were blocked. But how did I not see this? You tweeted that you were blocked yeah. by Stone Cold? I said, I, this is one of the worst days of my life. You just found out? Yeah. When? Like four days ago. <laughs> are you serious? Yeah, because they, they posted something about him. I was like, that's funny. His at isn't coming up. So I went to go look and it was like, you are blocked by Stone Cold Steve Austin. That's fire. I mean, it stunned you. Yeah, he stunned the shit out of me. I was I was legitimately stunned. That was a, that was a, yeah, that was a yeah. digital stunner. Digital stunner. That's fire. I guess. What I, could you have possibly said? I mean... Did you say, the like, only, oh, yo, the, Stone Cold is, like, a bitch or something? No, never. I would never. He's my favorite wrestler of all time. Yeah, me too. You know? So it's like, I would never I would never do that to him. If anything, I would say stuff like, yo, like, you're a god. Like, why would he block me for that? Yeah, of course. But I think it was, I, I did a Vine way, way back in the day that went, like, kind of viral. It was like, you would always talk shit to, like, your mom. And then, like, when your dad got home. It was like Stone Cold's music hit, and like he was coming down the ramp. Oh, like, to beat the shit out of to you! To beat yeah. the shit out of you! Yeah. So that was going around, making the rounds, and I know he's had like oh, some domestic uh, abuse things. Oh, he beat up his wife. Yeah, apparently. Okay. Yeah, so I think maybe whoever, I guess his social media team, or like was like, let's get this away from him. We don't want him to be attached to this sort of thing. Right. I think that's what happened. Oh, that makes that makes some sense i guess that makes sense because yeah. it was about a dad coming home and beating a kid yeah and he's kind of had run-ins not with kids but with his wife right so i don't maybe maybe that's where they were like let's get away from this or he just wanted to stop seeing it yeah because people were tagging him in it like crazy right. yeah but maybe. that that one hurt but there's two ways to look at it one yeah. my life's over yeah that's and probably the one let's just stick yeah. with that and two he went out of his way he saw me and was like, I'm going to block this guy. Yeah, because you can't block by accident on on Twitter. Have you ever had someone be like, uh, why would you like unfollow me? And you're like, oh, yo, I have no idea what happened. It's so hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's so true. It's so fucking true. It's so hard to unfollow people. It is. It's easy to It's easy to uh, follow people by accident on Instagram. I've done that numerous times. Yeah. I've accidentally followed people and I'd just be like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Like, and I actually had some, I followed like a, uh, you know, a fan of mine, I followed him on, on Instagram and then I didn't know for like a while. And then I got a DM. It was like, Hey man, really, th really appreciate you following me. And I was like, Oh man. And I just don't follow them. It's <laughs> fucking baller. <laughs> nah, it's fucked up. Yeah. Fuck you guys. Why did I just double? That was weird. I caught that with two hands. I know. Just now. What the fuck am I doing? I don't know. Your bet. Your five game needs to get improved. My five game is incredible. You're talking over saying people shouldn't have handshakes. You just tried to give me a secret handshake. I, you know what it was. I went to go stick this out because it was like you know whatever because right. I'm, I'm I'm going this way. Yeah. But I also felt disrespectful with my left hand. Yeah. So I just sneaked the right in there. Okay. You ever see in movies when people hold people over cliffs? Are they the strongest people on earth? That's not happening. There's no way. And I'm, I'm catching a man with one arm. Not only that, well, he hangs off a cliff. I can't even bag, brick and bring up six bags of groceries at once anymore. Yeah, you can't even brick it. Bricka. Yo, how do you grab onto that? I know. This is like grabbing a football. I can't hang onto a. Look at this thing. And then it, and then it slides. Look at this in. thing. Yeah, look at that. Pow! Oh, sorry. Not, no, but like sorry. you can't even grab onto this. And then it slides down. Yeah, it's like, oh my god, I'm slipping. <laughs> like, yo, just let the guy go, okay? Your shoulder's gonna get torn. Yeah. You know, just let the guy fall. If I was hanging off the side of a cliff. Good and, luck. And you were holding on to me. Yeah. You're not... You're dead. I would tell you to let me go. If it meant both of us dying, I would say just let me go. Oh, no. I'd make that decision. I, there's no reason for me to go, too. You you say that now. You would try your best to save my life. Oh, I, would, I would hope. From a, from a safe standpoint, yeah. As yeah. soon as it got too dangerous for me, I'd be like, dude, yeah, you got a tough break. <laughs> tough break right now, right? I'd just, yeah, could you just like... Swing me a little bit to the left or something so I can try and like hit this rock. Maybe if I hit enough rocks, I'll be all right. Yeah. You know? Falling's got to be an awful way to go. Off a cliff? Yeah. Uh, well, I don't really fuck with cliffs anyway. I can't see myself being like an near any of them. Yeah. I would, I would, I would, I would fall with you. You're dumb. You wouldn't fall with me? I guess somebody's got to stick around and run the show, I guess. Someone's got to do this podcast. Yeah. 
I po- still would do podcasters it. die on cliff due due to old episode where they said they wouldn't let go of each other. Yo, stuff like that's probably gonna pop up all the time. I mean, this is gonna get morbid, and I hate talking about death and whatnot. But yeah, bring it now that. <laughs> Now that like everyone posts everything online, yeah, I feel like it's gonna be way more common that when someone dies unexpectedly to go back and find something that's sort of related to this. Like, oh my god, he said that he hated cats, and then a cat killed him. They, I feel like every time we do a show, people get stuff, and they're like, "Well, now that th- th- here it is, here's the evidence of this. These we, people did this. Look at these people that fell off a cliff together." I'm like, you know. Like somebody sent me just, just joking, just joking around. We're just, not going to any cliffs. Just kidding. But um, I want to go to the Grand Canyon though. I do too. Where is that? That is in. <laughs> we don't know where it is. How dumb are we? We don't know where the Grand Canyon is. Let's both take a guess and look it up. I'm gonna say the Grand Canyon. Yo, is this in, is terrible. Is in. Oh man, fuck. Can I get both Dakotas? Okay, I'm gonna go out on a limb here. I'm not going out on a limb. That is so wrong. You don't think? You, maybe. I'm going to say like Arizona. We're we're both far apart. Yo, this is so bad. This dude. is bad. You want me to look it up? Yeah. Just look it up. It's not in the Dakotas. Oh my God. Why do we not know that? That's really bad. Please, I hope I'm right. <laughs> Something came up for the Grand Canyon Diner. <laughs> I was like, it's in Brooklyn. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the Grand Canyon? Um, Please be in Arizona. Please, God. Well, you can't even look it up. Well, you don't know how to do that either? No, it's like giving me a whole bunch of shit. Just say, where is the Grand Canyon? No, 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 no. I said, where is, and it didn't work, so I had to do what state is the Grand Canyon. Or is it so big? It's in... Please. Please, God. Please, God. Am I going to have to hop in here? Arizona. Boom! I just said I didn't have bad internet for a second. You know what I think you're thinking of? Mount Rushmore. Yeah, where's Mount Rushmore? That, I think, is one of the Dakotas. Dakota, uh... Dude, your internet in here sucks fat cock. Does it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> it does, dude. Sucks fat cock. Thank God I have the unlimited wing uh, plan. Boom. Shout out to the guys at wing. Shaka-lama. Mount Rushmore location. North? South Dakota. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That was my next guess. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Damn, you thought the Grand no, Canyon I- was in North Dakota. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I mixed that and Mount Rushmore up. Yeah, you're sorry because they're completely different. And you know it. How the fuck did they make Mount Rushmore? Who the fuck knows? You want to get it? You know what? Off what piece? How do they know they got his nose right? How do they know when to move on? How did Richie Rich get up there and put his fucking safe in there? <laughs> Come on, Richie Rich is a great movie. Great movie, and I'm so happy that you got that reference because that, yeah. that joke would have fell so flat. Nope. So a lot of people probably don't know that movie. I know. Go, go watch Richie and, Rich. Go back and watch Richie Rich. Go back it, and watch. I'll go back and watch Richie Rich. <laughs> I don't know why I sound like that right now, but yo, good fucking movie. Not only all right, fuck the movie, even though it's great. Yeah, definitely go watch it. Macaulay Culkin, before all the drugs, still a child. Anyway, how the fuck did they make Mount Rushmore? It's one of those beautiful. It's like one of those things that shows you this is gonna sound weird. How amazing human beings are. <laughs> That human beings could fucking make that. Yeah. With their bare hands. Dude, I know. And I, I think about shit like that all the time. Like, there's so many things that are... Like, bridges? For how? I know. Did we build a bridge? Not only a bridge. Tunnels that go underwater? What's the what's the one... Uh, those things are terrifying if you think about them. Who? Uh, those ones that are underwater, those tunnels. Tunnels, yeah, but I don't think they're like underwater. I think they like bro, so they're low. under fucking water, dude. Yeah, I mean, the water's on top of them technically, but I think they go so low that they're in the ground now, and then they go on. You know what I'm saying? No, they, it's underwater, bro. So if I take a sledgehammer and crack it against the side of the the fucking First midtown all, tunnel, no, it's very thick. But what I'm saying is, the midtown tunnel. You ever seen the top of it? Have no, you ever been? It's under the ground. Yeah, it's underwater, bro. Yeah, the, but also the ground of the water. You know, what I'm, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so it's technically under a river, right? The East River. Okay. So, yeah, I guess you can get to the bottom of a river. Of course. It's, yeah, of course. It's not, yeah, but it's not like the ocean where no, it's like, no. you, Jesus Christ. No, no, no. It's not whales like un- down there. Un- undiscovered shit. No, no, no. There's no sh- treasure. <laughs> you say treasure? I, I tried to say 
<laughs> something. I don't know. We've had like maybe eleven mispronounced words. Yes. What percent is that? This is uh this is uh eight. Oh, it's only gonna get worse. Oh, it's gonna get uh, bad. No. But I, I guess it could go through the water underneath. But I just think it's just underwater, bro. Like but then, how would you build that? Do they build bridges underwater? Mad people died. The George Washington Bridge. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Who built a bridge underwater? Yeah, if you look at the George Washington Bridge. It's not underwater. What do you think a bridge does? It's above water, you jackass. I understand, but the pillars have to be some someplace. Yeah, you just put them in the water. How you do that? You fucking, uh, you know, a dolly. Oh, yeah, a dolly. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Fucking no, but bridge you could, expert over dude, here. Dude, I, I, all I'm saying is you said put a bridge underwater. They're, the part of the bridge is underwater. Okay, yes. You put it in. Yes, the, the, the pillar that holds it up is in the water. Yeah, you take a bunch of fucking concrete and you fucking shape but it. But how do you get down there? You, build, you get you divers, build, you, Danny. Yeah, but when they built the George Washington Bridge, who the fuck is diving down there? I don't know. They had some athletes, <laughs> some guys. It's just astonishing to me. Oh, it's it's astonishing. You know? I don't understand. Also, those fucking guys that built, like, the Empire State Building, they're sitting on beams. Yeah. Eating bologna sandwiches. A thousand feet in the air. Like, dude, don't you're not worried about, like, a crosswind coming here and knocking your peanut butter and jelly sandwich and your body off the building here? I, I, would, th- I would. I'd be terrified. Uh, your lunch pail? Yeah. Yeah. But that's insane. Did you ever have a thermos? Fuck yeah, dude. What's, like, did you put drinks in it or you put fucking soup in it like a creep? <laughs> Damn, I had mad soup in that I shit. I knew it. <laughs> no, no, You're no. A soup creep. I put, I put some. So, what am I gonna put in it? Coffee? I'm fucking eight. No, my mom used to put like some juice up in that bitch. Why use? Why put juice in a thermos? Juice? I like that. Why? Because Just put it in like a cup or like a, a get How a the juice fuck box. Is she gonna put a get cup a, in a lunch box, a, bitch? Get a juice box, bitch. No. You don't like high C? Nah, dude. It's just bad for the environment, dog. I like high C, but like, I guess back then she was just like, I don't want to do that. No one was so, sh- like, you know. My mom had three kids. Kids just be going out and buying boxes. She bought the big sh- shit that was free. Knock off fucking. First of all, you go to fucking BJ's, you get a pack of 5000 and it's like $8. And you just lo- chuck them at your dumb kids when they're out the- walking out the door. Hey. I didn't really have lunch growing up. <laughs> <laughs> that got sad really quick. <laughs> My parents didn't feed me. No, like, what was your I, typical lunch at school? I wasn't like brown bagging it, is what I'm trying to say. No, my my parents Wait, I only packed have, my lunch sometimes. Uh, they never packed my lunch, but like they actually they did until I got to like first grade. Yes, but like no, two, no, no, first grade. Yeah, bro, I was on that lunch line. Damn, that's, yeah. too, that's too young to be lining it. No, nah, yeah, I was on that line. Fuck. Have, we had there's four like of us. lunch money and shit. I can't handle money in first grade. No, no, no. We it, it, there wasn't lunch money. I think it was covered by the. It was like public school, so they just like we wouldn't pay for it. Paying for lunch in school, Tra- is fucking bullshit. Yeah. Why are we doing this? Why are they doing that to kids? And then what they're eating I had to is buy garbage. I had, to eat, I had to buy lunch in high school. What'd you eat in high school? Man, dog shit. Like. I mean, we had good food, but I would eat dog shit. Like, like I would go out of my way to do it. <laughs> like mozzarella sticks and shit? Oh, hell yeah. Dude, every morning, every morning when I got to high school, I don't know why I'm calling it high school. When I got to high school, no, when I went to school, I would go there before classes started. I'd go downstairs, I'd get a bacon, egg, and cheese. Always. And a sugar cookie and a yoo every day. God. And I still look like this. Yeah, no wonder you shit your pants every day though for like a year. Yeah, I, I wonder why my, sh- my I had like IBS and shit. I'm letting you know this. We had 30 kids going to to the school at the same time, so we we had a lunch plan, so we never had to pay for lunch, me, yeah. and Mike and my sister, cuz it was like it's ridiculous to right. make 3 kids pay for lunch. I would eat the worst food. We used to have burgers, we used to call them rat burgers. That's how gross they were. Why did you call them rat burgers? Because they were just gross and like so well done. They, you know, like when you go to like, uh, like you're at the beach and sometimes they sell like burgers, but they're those ones that sit like in 7-Eleven and like those little like toasters that are there all the time. I know they're there, but I ne- would never eat them because I'm not a psycho. But you've seen them though, right? Yeah, and I've they're in those, those aluminum foil yes. bags. That's what I would eat uh, for I've, lunch. I've eaten those though. Actually, yo, hold yo. up. A bacon, like a bacon wrap burger, that's what I would have every day for lunch. Yeah. 
Didn't mind it back then. I mean, I mean, I yo honestly. <laughs> now I think about it, I'm like, oh my god. I was grossed out by it, but when you mentioned the aluminum foil, I was like, wait, yo, I remember the yeah, dude. And, and it was so bad, but so good. Yeah, and one they had different labels for like this one has cheese, and this one is. It was br- like red. Yes, 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 yes. It was red if it was cheese. Yo. Yes. Fuck yeah. There was this lunch lady that I had that was like a cashier, and every morning, I swear to God, so I would get the yoo-hoo every morning. Which, by the way. It's diarrhea. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> spoiler alert, it's diarrhea um, with sugar. But so, I, very good, though. I would buy... Oh, it's amazing. Um, so, I would go to the lunch lady, and yeah. I'd, like, ring up my shit, and she would just announce everything, which would get me so angry. Like, well, why, why are you going to put my business in the street like that? She'd be like, bacon, egg, and cheese, <laughs> sugar cookie, and a yahoo. <laughs> She said it like Every that? Every morning. She was, Yahoo! <laughs> She's fucking Super Mario. She's fucking lunch lady. Yeah, I'm like, bitch, it's 7.45. Give me that bacon. How Just burnt, bring it up. How burnt was your bacon? Oh, it was black. It was disgusting. Yeah, it was bad. Yeah. School bacon is the worst. You want to hear how awful this is? My high school reunion is in the school cafeteria. Are you going? I missed one already. Go, dude. I'm going to go to the 10th one. Yo, it's, the tenth it's one? fun. My 10-year anniversary was when, awesome. When did I... Graduate. Oh, so I have. You'll be 28. Next year. It'll be next year. That'll be my 10 year. Mm-hmm. But there was like a five year that I didn't go to. Five years is nothing. I yeah, wouldn't I go, just to, saw I wouldn't you go to that shit either. I think it was five years. It might, yeah, I think it was five years. But I was like, I just saw you guys. So. Yeah. Go to your 10 year. Fucking stunned. Yeah, I didn't go. But I, I, I honestly, a fucking stunned. <laughs> no. Oh, uh, uh, you guys still here? What's up? No, but I feel like after 10 years, like, everyone changes, like, a lot. After five years, it's like, I just got out of college. Like, what do you want me to do? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I barely have a job and, like, you know what I'm saying? You want to know what was crazy at mine? I went to school with two um, people that actually transitioned in my grade. They were trans? Yeah, they were So tra- they showed up yes. different? Yes. Did you guys do the whole name tag thing? No, 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 no. Our school was so small, dude. We only had 100 people in our grade, something like that. But for ha- to have two people transition in our grade... Yeah, think what about are the that. odds? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But um only one of them showed up and um they were delightful. You talked to them? Yeah. Which way did they go? Uh female to male. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh it was like it was very cool. It was very cool. Ten year anniversaries are crazy because there's some people you're like, holy shit. Yeah. I haven't seen that person in ten fucking years. I will say that I went on Facebook. And saw, you know, some people from, from high school. Man, some of them just... Having some dog days. Having... Going through it. Going through it. All right? Definitely need to turn it around. Do you think your penis was the same size now as it was in high school? <laughs> honestly, Do you think your peen peen grows it's from, honest, from high school to... <laughs> it's honestly hard to tell. It is, it's isn't kind, it? It's kind of like, you know when you have a puppy and someone comes over and they go, Whoa, this guy got big! You know, and you're like, oh, I, I didn't even notice because I'm with them all the time. It's kind of the same thing, my dick. If I wouldn't, here's what I'll say: <laughs> wouldn't be surprised if it hasn't. All right, I, I think I'm in the same boat. <laughs> there hasn't been noticeable changes to my dick where I'm like, yo, since high school, I gotta show people yeah, this thing. Yeah, because yeah. like on the other show, um, <laughs> when I turned thirty, I was like, yo, 15 years ago, I was 15. Yeah. I thought about that. I was like, yeah, was my dick the same size when I was 15? <laughs> I wonder what age like your, your dick, dick stops growing? Probably like 18. <laughs> I don't know. Damn, you know what that means? There's probably an 18 roller now that's just like double the size of a dick. Oh, make. yeah. Easily. <laughs> yeah, crazy. Dude, like Zion Williamson's dick. It's probably just like just it's, unbelievable. It's bigger than ours. Put together probably. It's larger than life. Yeah, it is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It is. Shout out to the Backstreet Boys. That was a jam. Aren't they back together? Mm-hmm. They make like new music, right? Yeah, I haven't heard any of it. But yeah. No, that's no good. I would love to get together and party with the Backstreet Boys. Fuck yeah. Hear about stories. A lot of blow, probably. Hey. Yeah. Wait, don't they have a gay guy? Oh, no, that's in sync. That's, that's, that's Lance, Lance Bass. Bass. Remember you wanted to go to space? You wanted to be an astronaut? What? Lance Bass wanted to be an astronaut. He wanted to go to space? Yeah, bro. He wanted to be the first gay singer in space. Yo, you think there's any gay astronauts? I'm sure there is. How many? Wait, did, I don't know. How the fuck? How many astronauts are there? That's what I was gonna say. I don't think there's that many. I mean, just by I would say I would say there's probably a couple hundred. 
like the NBA. Like there's only a couple hundred NBA players. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and like think about how hard they had to work to get there. How many people are in the NBA? 12 on a team, 32 teams. I don't know why you're even trying to figure that out because it's not going to like compare. No, but I'm just saying like it's probably that type of thing. It's probably a very small fraternity. Oh, I think people who go to space is like that's a very elite category. Not space. I don't think like like Oh, just to be an astronaut. Just be an astronaut. Wait, are you an astronaut if you never get up there? See, I don't know. Do you have to leave Earth's hemisphere to be technically an astronaut? Otherwise, you're just like a guy who works at NASA. Yeah. I work on the ships, uh, but I've never been there. Yeah. So what's the point? Another thing that sucks, too. It doesn't suck, but I, do, I don't understand it. Is why does there have to be so much code when people talk in like those situations? Like Alpha Delta... Uh, it's, everything's a code. No, but it's it, they're just like they're units. Yeah, but what about like planes? Say, like people that like like um, not moderate planes, but like they um, like air traffic control. Air traffic control. Why can't you just be like, hey man, there's a train com- uh train. <laughs> <laughs> there's a plane coming. Divert. Yeah, there's a plane coming from this uh air, like southwest hard left. But why is everything like? Alpha Tango Bravo 69 Flight 31887. I don't know. We got a 69.8 uh, decrease. It's like, why Like who? Why are we talking like that? I don't know. Just fucking talk to me normal. <laughs> Confusing me. I don't know. I honestly, I couldn't even confirm that people talk like that, to be honest with you. I've, never, t- I've never been in the tower. No, you never, never, see, oh, I, I watched this whole thing. There's a flight simulator. Yeah, I would never. I'm even scared of that. Yeah, there's a flight simulator. We but, should do that. No. I'm I, down. I'm crashing that plane. Yeah, probably. Yo, you know how like back in the day where shit was like kind of safe or maybe we just didn't give a fuck and they would just let kids like, oh, I'm going to go say hi to the pilot. Yeah. First of all, no distractions up top. Okay, don't yo pilot. Can I take a picture with you, dude? I'm flying a plane. I'm responsible for eighty lives. Get the fuck back to your seat, yeah. little Joey. Take these little plastic wings and get the fuck out of my face. So I'm saying, and like, but also it was like, hey, can I go see the pilot and the and the stewardess? Would be like, yeah, fuck it, come up. Yeah. Get them the fuck out. What if the kid sneezes, falls, and he like you know hits a button? Isn't it like autopilot though? Because I feel like there's always pictures of pilots like. Yeah, they like just all the gears are here. Yo, and they're just like, I'm like, what? Fly the plane. Being in a plane is, is kind of wild because there's like ten thousand buttons, but I feel like you only need this one. Yeah, the one that you kind of. That's another thing too. Make a plane with less buttons. Way less buttons. Why be? Yeah, what are we turning on? What are is getting turned on? Just get a button that turns them all on. Get a turn all on button. Get an Alexa in there. Yeah, Alexa, fly the plane. Alexa, turn the fucking <laughs> put the the wheels up. All put right, the wheels up. Oh my god. No, I know. Yo, I'm mad at the world today. Yeah, I know. Hey, you want, it's because fucking Stone Cold, bro. It all comes back. Have to you Stone ever Cold. blocked anyone on on Instagram? Yeah, of course. See, I don't like to block people on Instagram because then now you have, they know. And it's also like blocked users, and now they join this exclusive club that's like always following me around. You know, you are a maniacal fuck. Yeah, I am. That's crazy. Yeah, that's some wild shit. Because it's I like, oh, heard. like this. Oh, these eight people are still in my life because they're here. Because they're in the block section. Because they're on the block users. Yeah, but they can't fuck with you. Like, I'll mute the shit out of someone though. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I mute people that I follow all the time. Oh, I know. I follow, I think, 130 people on Instagram. I would say a good 40 of them are muted. How about me losing 4,000 followers yesterday? I lost 20,000 followers. And you got yours back, you fucking whore. Yeah, I did. Let's see if I got mine back now. I got it. Now I'm scared. Now I'm going to check mine, you fucking bitch. Nope. Still still lost them. <laughs> yes. Yours are all fake. That's why mine are real. Yeah. Nice. But for, yeah, I was. I always follow. <laughs> I always follow 914 people. Strictly. Because it's it's the area code that I grew up in. That's fucking awesome, dude. That's so That's fucking so cool. Sick. That's so fire. Yeah, it's the coolest thing I ever heard. Yeah, it's better than getting a tattooed on my ass or something. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Hey, guys, let's not tattoo area codes on us, okay? All right? No one wants to know where you live geographically, okay? Nobody gives a shit, you I th- know? I think people care. You care about yours? About what? 917 or whatever? 718? 718. 917. 
718 area code? Do you care about it? Uh, a little bit. I probably care about it too much, but I think that's just like a Queens thing to do. Well, I, cha- I, can, I changed mine. I can get how... Yeah, no, but it's not your phone number. It's like your area code. Like ours is 718. Yeah. Like it's like... I'm from the 718. Right. Like, it's a pride thing. It is. Like 914, that's like Yonkers. Hey, it's Westchester. Is it? Yeah. So it's like... That's why you follow 914. Yeah. So you have it tattooed on your Instagram. It's, I have it tattooed on my Instagram. <laughs> But for some reason, it's down to 877 now. I didn't, That's a lot. I didn't unfollow those people. So now you got to follow a bunch of random accounts. What I'm thinking is, because I looked at like a whole bunch of people that I do follow close friends. I was like, yo, I don't want them to think I unfollow them. But I'm still following all of them. Mm-hmm. I don't know what accounts got unfollowed. Yeah. That's the weird thing. And isn't it weird? A part of me got a little upset when I saw that 4,000 drop. That is weird. What are they doing over there? No, I think it's weird that you're ups- you're upset about it. Oh no, I I wasn't upset. I was just like, oh fuck, why that happened to me? <laughs> I think they just clear out inactive accounts. Yeah, but then they gave me back four thousand. Yeah, I don't know. And you, you're still down twenty thousand. Yeah. You can't look me look me in my eyes right now. Okay. That twenty thousand doesn't hurt a little bit. No, I don't really don't care. Not at all. No. Not one smidge. No. Not one midge. No. I'll be honest with you. You are so centered. It would. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I don't know what amount of followers would hurt my feelings. Seven hundred thousand gone. Uh, it would really <laughs> set me back. Well, the the reason why it would, you'd, be, you'd be making a phone call, you'd be tweeting. <laughs> I mean, I'd be like, "What happened?" But uh, I don't know. See, I'm telling you. Don't that's, give me. Don't, don't, I'm just saying. So don't say ninety percent. I'm just saying. Don't sit here. And feed me some bullshit. I'm not feeding you bullshit. I'm just saying. I would tell you this. If 100,000 had disappeared, I probably wouldn't really care that much. I'm serious. Why? Why? Bullshit. Why is that bullshit? Because. It's still 700,000 people. I know that. But listen, man. That's 100,000 people that, you know, potential people that could watch a show. Yeah, they'll be back. That's true. true. (laughs) They always come back. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I got to get the sponsors real quick. Ah! Okay. There it is. Almost went down there. I know people hate when I grab my laptop. But anyway, today we have two sponsors for the show. Uh, first being Harry's Razors. Okay? Shaving this this glorious face. Look at it. Okay? You see this? Mm. Boom, bada, ba, boom, bang. Mm. Harry's. Mm. Okay? You all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. All right, cool. Uh, Harry's founders were tired of paying up for razors that were overpriced and over designed mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying uh they bought a world-class blade factory in germany that's been making quality blades for over 95 years you know huh. what i'm saying 95 years of blade making gotta be doing something right that's what i'm saying that is what i'm saying right now um harry's replacement cartridges are just two dollars uh they have twenty thousand five five-star reviews on Trustpilot and google and uh that's half the price of gillette fusion pro shield okay boom half the price Harry's Razors, 95 years, quality German blades there, ladies and gentlemen. Um, but yeah, I've been I've been using them for a while. <laughs> I've been using them for a while. Whenever I shave my face, I use my Harry's Razors, man. Plus, I get them for free, so it's it's popping. And also, the re- replacement cartridges, $2. Like, give me a break. Come on, yo. Yo, Harry's, holler at me. Oh, yeah. Danny needs some Danny needs some Harry's. Yeah, come on. Uh, look at that face. You might need a couple boxes there, but Oh, yeah. Um, right now, you can get a $13 value trial set that comes with everything you need for a close, comfortable shave. Uh, it comes with a weighted handle, a five-blade razor with a lubricating strip and trimmer blade, a rich lathering shave gel, and a travel blade cover. Okay? I think you counted way too many things. That's a lot of stuff. But though. it's a lot of stuff. $13 value trial set. Um, and right now you can redeem it by going to harrys.com slash basement. Uh, that is harrys.com slash basement. Get that trial set. Try it out. You like it? You know what I'm saying? You tell get me some Harry's. You tell me I can get a trial set that's worth how much? $13. And I can get it for free and try it out. Go to harrys.com slash basement. Redeem that trial set, ladies and gentlemen. Psst. Uh, also, we have a new sponsor for, of the show, BetterHelp. Um, BetterHelp is basically like online counseling. So if you're going through anything, they have some licensed professional counselors who specialize in depression, stress, anxiety, relationships, sleeping, trauma, 
anger, self-esteem, anything. If you need someone to talk to, uh, BetterHelp uh, can be there and they'll connect you with a professional counselor in a safe and private online environment. And the cool thing about it is they have four communication modes uh, like text, chat, phone, video, you know, whatever you need. Um, so yeah, that's really cool. You know, as pe two people who are, you know, advocates for all that stuff. Well, listen, I'm in therapy every week. That's I, what I'm saying. I, I will, I, I'm actually going to check that out. There you go. Check it out. Um, it's a truly affordable option. Uh, the Basement Yard listeners, you'll get 10% off your first mo uh, month with the discount code YARD. Um, so why not get started today? You go to betterhelp.com slash YARD. That's betterhelp.com slash YARD. Better help. Better help. Better pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I, I knew you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was thinking about that. <clears throat> Speaking of that, you think you think you'll ever go to therapy? Here's the thing. I, I I think that therapy is like, I, I've never been, but I would like to because I think that it's just like going to the gym. Yeah. Like it just keeps your absolutely it's a good thing to have. Yeah. But. Would you like need something like, um, God forbid, but I mean like something like tragic to happen in your life to go to therapy or do you think you would just go one day? Um, no, uh, I'm the type of person that kind of like deals with everything themselves. Yeah. So what was that? <laughs> what was that? You no. think I'm, I'm, I shut you out? No, 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 no. You don't shut. I don't think you shut me out at all. No, I don't think I shut you out either. I think you're a, I think you're an overthinker. You think I'm an overthinker? Yeah. I want to hear more about this. No, no, no. Like you're overthinker, like in terms of like, like when you get a lot of things on your plate, you want to do them all and you want them done like now. Yeah. So you're constantly thinking about, uh, uh, what's next. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like you, you, you live in the now, but you're kind of like, always talking, thinking about the future. You're kind of a couple steps ahead. Yeah. That's a problem that I have. I think like, that's like the one thing. Yeah, I've, and I've, I've. I don't think that's overthinking. I think I yeah, use, that's I use a different. The, I, I don't know what the right terminology is, but that's what I, what I'm saying. Yeah, I need to be more present, but I feel like I've been better in like the, like so far. But like, what were you saying? What's going on? What? <laughs> but uh, there, there. I, I was actually having a conversation with someone once, and I was saying how it's so hard for me because sometimes I, you know, I'm just out to to dinner or I'm out at bar, mm -hmm. and I'm but I'm not there because I'm thinking about like what shit that i have to get done and right. like whatever i'm like i don't want to fucking do that i'm like that too though like i used to never be like that i used to like think about shit like last ah, second ah. ah fuck it so i definitely adopted that from you a little bit but like it's hard to be present sometimes because we have to do everything ourselves i just like it though like i like getting things done i like watching things grow and i'm always thinking about these things but in a way you are doing something though what you're, you're just doing like work no yeah you know but yeah but i think you find i think you find solace in that i do when i don't like i always get afraid that i'm like what's enough because when you you know when you hear about these like billion dollar companies yeah. and it's like yo they, they were they were cutting they weren't even paying these people minimum wage and they were getting away with it for so long like why are they doing that Right. And it's because it's never enough. If you're if money's the thing, it's never enough. Yeah. You know, so it's like even though you have all the money in the world, you literally can afford anything. You know, like people have like on like, you know, billions of dollars. Right. They can afford anything they want. They still try to save as much money and use certain credit cards to get points back and right. invest in certain things so they don't have to pay taxes. And it's like, yo, why are you doing that? You're bringing in so much revenue, you never have to worry about money for the rest of your life, and neither do your children or their children. Right. So what, so what is it? And it's just, it's never enough for those people because then money, it's a mind state. Once money becomes something that doesn't matter, it's a game now. How much could I actually get? Do you think you've reached that kind of, hell no, uh, no, but I'm saying like that kind of mentality, do you think you could adopt that mentality? Oh, I don't know. It's hard to say, but I, I do think that, you know, it, it is, it's. For someone that I, not that I was poor growing up, but I didn't really have like a lot of shit. Right. To, compared to what I have now, I can see how someone could be completely complacent in that and be like, this is good enough for me. Right. And like not really want to move up. Mm -hmm. And I want to constantly move up. And like I'm always thinking about how do I do more shit. And yeah. like when cool shit happens, people are like, 
uh, you know, why are you not excited about this? Or like, why are you like, whatever? Like, this is something people always say to me. It's like, why aren't you excited? And I'm like, because I'm just fucking, you know what I'm saying? Like, I Working, just got to yeah. keep going, you know? I'll be excited later. We don't really have a lot of time to be excited. No, I, I'm never excited. <laughs> no. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> excites me. It's true. It's no, true. I, I, but it's like, you know, you, you have certain goals for yourself. And it's like, I'm not excited because I'm not there yet. Like, this yeah, is cool. I but I, you. you know, I, I can see myself doing way bigger things. But I do think about how if it ever got to a crazy point, like if I built out some crazy media company and it's right. just making billions of dollars. And it's like, oh, fuck, would I be one of those people? Yeah. That would be like, all right, now money is a fucking game. Yeah, like, would you be like one of those weird shut-in people, like, like, uh, like you said on another, like, uh, uh, another episode, like how I have a relationship, like, with my doorman. Would you be like, you would never have your a relationship with your doorman? See, that's another thing. Uh, no, that I I would. You you would once you hit that point. No 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 I I'm I wanted I'm doing that now. Oh okay. Like I I've I've made an effort. Not yeah. that it takes a crazy effort. It's just how do I say this without sounding like a sociopath? <laughs> I think that was like ten episodes, dude. You're good. Don't worry about it. We all know where you're coming from these days. I never realized how much of an impact being like knowing random people in your so there are random people in your life that are consistent yeah you know and i never looked at it that way i always looked at it as that's a random person like i don't need to know them yeah you know and and that's wrong that's not what it is but if you constantly see some certain people so bartenders yeah doormen people who work at your gym people who go to your gym yeah and just random people that you always see i see i see these people these random people more than i see some of my friends that's what i'm saying i know everything about them I should engage these people. Right. And I've been making an active effort to do that now, uh, to talk to these people, introduce myself and like do whatever. Like I'll, now I'm like, like the other day I was at a random bar and there was a guy who the bartender looked like fucking Johnny Depp. And usually I would just not say anything and just right. like, whatever. And I would like, wait till he got outside and be like, oh, fucking that guy look like Johnny Depp. But then I'd like engaged him and I was just saying like, yo, anyone ever tell you look like Johnny Depp? And what did he say? And he's like, no. I was, and, I, and I was just like, and I was like, I don't believe you. And then he's like, no one said that to me today. I was like, that I believe. Yeah, there Cause, you go. Because it was early. It was like 11 o'clock. Don't ask why I was at a bar at 11 o'clock. But... <laughs> yeah, that's the next thing. But got. then he gave me a drink for free right after that. See just that? Just because I was, just, you know what I'm saying? I'll tell you, I, like, um, it's crazy how much people um, are just looking for human connection throughout yeah. the day. Just like, uh, just to have a conversation. Like, dude, I have people that live in my building. I have no idea what their names are. I have a pleasant conversation with them every day. Yeah. You know? Because, like, we have certain stuff we talk about, like sports or, like, I have a sports guy on my floor. Yeah. I have a news guy on another floor. Uh, I have a doorman who has, like, you <laughs> the know. The news guy. Every day you see him, Trump. Man. Yeah, yeah I, every, <laughs> all the time. He's like, oh, government shutdown. Uh. I have a stock guy that, that <clears throat> lives on my floor, too. So, like, there's people, like, I see. More than I see my friends. I see them every day. Yeah. And it's like, if I don't have relationships with these people. It's weird. It's weird. Yeah. You know? Like, if I don't, if I walk by my doorman, like, my doorman opens the door for me. Right. I'm not just going to be like, I'm going to ask him how his day was. I know how his day was. Work there. But I'm still going to ask. Yeah. But I just think, like, networking and having random connections places, that's so awesome to have that type of shit yeah and i'm i'm someone who's like i really enjoy like human interaction and like that's why i always said like growing up like people thought i was crazy because i was like i think being a bartender is like one of the greatest jobs ever just because like not in like a very busy place but a place that's like busy enough that you'll make your money but also yeah. slow enough that you can get to know your customers like a male bartender what because i feel like female bartenders just get like take this shot with me oh my god take this shot yeah it's like, Jesus. What do you need, sweetheart? All the time. Ugh. Can I have another three of these? Thanks, baby. Look, look at her. Look at her. Look at her. Isn't she something? It's unbelievable. Baby. Just look at her. <laughs> I'm fucking believable. How's she not scooped up by some fucking athlete or something? It's, fuck, it's beyond me. You basically just go to your job and get hit on hard. Yeah, it's disgusting. dude. Yeah, I've but been being a bartender would be a cool job, though. I still want to do it. Like, my dream is to own a bar. That's dope. That's my that's my actual dream. Can Probably I, not my dream when I do it though. Can I go out on a limb? What? 
you could probably could be like part owner of a bar now. Yeah, I could probably be a part owner of a bar, but I don't. I don't. It would still be a risk. Like I could do it. A financial risk, you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. I could. St- I could do it, but then also, uh, if it did not work out, <laughs> not that I'd be on the street or anything. It wouldn't be great. It would suck. Though. Yeah. You know? I might get fired. For real. Nah, you wouldn't get fired. Oh, thank God. But you know, right. if you sink like $150,000 into a bar. That's rough. It's $150,000. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like yeah. for anybody, that sucks. Yeah. Nobody wants to lose that. So, you know, once for you sure. have like, you know, like $5 million in the bank, then maybe you could go part owners on something. Yeah. Yeah. Or you could get your own bar at that point. I just like that whole industry is fucking crazy to me. Like restaurant and bar business. It's probably the hardest business to run. Yeah, and I think it has to be. I think also you need. Uh, they say like the first two years you're in the red no matter what. Oh yeah, which I would ne- uh, like just the, off that statement alone. I'd be like, nah, I'm good. I'm all set. I'm all set. I'm gonna keep this money. You know what's crazy? You ever watch fucking Gordon Ramsay Kitchen Nightmares? No. Yo, you have to start watching it. The way that this person yells at people is it's, unbelievable. It's creative. It's if if that's the word you want to use. He'll be like, yeah, uh, bring me this. He's like, this is fucking shit. <laughs> Who made this? And then he's, you know, he calls people stupid. Yeah. Idiots. Right. <clears throat> Imagine you own a business. And That's a guy, his appeal. But like, is it for our, like, why Why do I enjoy that so much? Why do I enjoy watching this guy? Because it's not stupid? happening to you. That's exactly what it is. I mean, it happens to you. It's voyeurism. Voyeurism? Yeah. Isn't that like when you want to watch people jerk off? No, something? but I think like as like people, we're voyeurs. Like we want to see it happen to other people, just not us. Yeah, you know what of I mean. Of course. Like why that's do we why, go? Like why do we go see people dude. get fucking? Like why do we watch shows where people get killed and shit? That's why when people they they watch this show and like we talk about a bunch of shit. Sometimes we offend certain groups of people. And it's like whatever. I don't give a fuck. Like we're we're just. I'm not saying anything bad here. I'm just kind of having fun. Yeah, fuck space. And then as soon as you say something. That pertains to that actual person where it's like, oh, no, this thing that you're talking about actually means something to me now. Like, now I'm going to choose to be upset. It's like, dude, you can't do that. No, you can't. You can't get upset about because I said something about fucking, uh, I don't know. We talked about, like, you did, like, a Chinese accent on one of those episodes that we did. And then it's like, oh, yo, I'm offended by this. Like, dude, we've been doing fucking all kinds of shit on this yeah. show. I, I, and I, no one said a word. I honestly think it's like... Um, especially on this show, it's like if you get offended by this show, I think you're dumb. Because, yeah, it's... because here's why. Like you said, if you're coming here for like real logical conversation, <laughs> I'm worried about you. Logical conversation, just a little bit. Yeah, you know what I mean. But like, I think in in ter- it's so easy to have a voice though to like leave a comment. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it's like, I'm not going to embrace back with a comment. That's why I love fucking muting people on Instagram. Yeah. Because it's like, I want to avoid the awkwardness of me not having to see you and you not know about it. Yeah. What's so wrong about that? I just don't want to see it. But what's so wrong about muting somebody? I wouldn't be offended if somebody muted me. I really wouldn't. You're probably muted by people. I, I'm sure. I'm sure I'm definitely muted by people. Yeah. Like, I, like, I'm sure someone doesn't want to fucking see me sing about titties for the ninth day in a row. Yeah. Don't unfollow me. Just mute me, dog. Yeah. <laughs> that's, keep, keep, that's let me get it. that number, though. I'll tell you this. Yeah. I have some do's and don'ts of Instagram. What do you mean? Like, things you should be able to do and things that you shouldn't. What do you mean? And you do one of them. Well, I'm I, I'm sure I do a lot of things that you shouldn't do on Instagram. No, no, no. I think you're, ins- you're pretty Instagram safe. You're Instagram safe. But there's one thing that you do. Here we go. Your dog has an Instagram account. Hell yeah, I'm a white guy. But I understand that. But listen, your dog's not writing the captions. Don't write. The, the dog doesn't know how to write. It's cute, Danny. I know it's cute, but you can post pictures on your account with your dog. I'm white, Danny. It's in my blood to make a fucking Instagram for my dog. I can't fight my... I'm going to make half an Instagram for my dog. How's listen, that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm I, just, just, I have to. All I'm saying is this. Your Just dog. like you have to come in here, you gotta do dishes. Yeah, it's true. You know what I'm it's saying? True. Yeah, it's it's a routine. A little racist, but uh. 
at a level of the racism, you know. Yeah, I mean? nah, yeah. You I, wanted, level I of... wanted to be in there with you. I understand. You want to walk in my shoes? I get it. I get no, it. I wanted to be. You know, what I'm saying if we're going down, we're going down yeah, together. I hear you. I'm, I hear... I'm, I'm jumping off the cliff with you. But uh, yeah, God forbid. You already said you're letting me go. But that's fine. But it's cool. Why do the captions have to be as if the dog wrote it? I don't know. The man. dog can't. It's a dog. It can't read. Hey, uh, I wish I had an answer for you. <laughs> The only one I have is that I'm a white dude who uh, loves know, his dog. Loves I get his dog. it. I get it. We get throw it. birthday parties for my dog. I know. You know what I'm saying? We sing happy birthday to our dogs. I know you do. It's disgusting. I know. It's gross. It's gross. It's gross. Also, another don't of Instagram. Don't make a couple account on Instagram. <laughs> don't do that. I don't want to see that shit. Couple YouTube channels are huge. Oh. Huge. They're, they're terrible. They're and then awful. I love when they break up, they do a video. Yo, breakup videos on YouTube, fucking stupid. We broke up. You know what's you know what's the worst? And listen, I'm and, and, I'm sorry. And like you guys already know this because you, if you've been watching me for a long time, you get it. But when they start off those videos, like you know, I feel like we owe it to you guys to talk. I don't fucking owe you anything. <laughs> what are you nuts? Leave me alone, I, dude. If. <laughs> When people say that, it drives me insane. You know, I feel like I'd owe it to you guys to because you, you I owe you an explanation. Dude, you're crazy. That's why I love Why the- do you owe your random ass people? They like your videos because you go to Starbucks and make little designs yeah. and take pictures of leaves and shit. Yeah. Like whatever those fucking YouTubers do. They don't they're not following you because you fuck you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, if you're hey. going through some shit, just go through the shit. Uh, we feel it's right to tell you guys and completely split you down the middle. So um, we're breaking up and we decide to make a clickbait thumbnail at Dude. the same time. And then they cry. Oh they're my crying God. on camera. And then their edits too. Cry out the, edit out the cry. It should be on, if you break up on YouTube, unedited. I don't give a shit. If I see edited breakups, it's fake. Dude. I hate that. They're, also I like. I hate the breakup videos. Another thing I, I owe it to you. To, I owe you an explanation. What the? F- what are you, my parents? Yeah. Why the fuck would I have to explain that? Another one. Inspirational quote. Instagram handles. Enough. Okay. Don't, All right. Don't do it. I don't go to Instagram to read. I go to Instagram to look at pictures. I don't want to read. Not only that. God damn it. But like. Sorry. There's there's a bunch of people now that try to be Gary V. Ah. Oh. And that haven't. Done anything? Yeah. Why would I be motivated by you? Yeah, I just said that word really weird. Motivated by you? Why would I be motivated by someone who's just like, you know what you gotta do? You gotta follow your dreams. Like, dude, you have two thousand followers. Yeah, and it's also like, dickhead, you don't think I'm doing that? Yeah. Tell me something I don't know. It's just all right. Tell me what like, tell me what I should invest in. Or like all those pages, you know what they do? They have that. They do that one video where it's like there was a man that walked out to the beach uh, and he held his head underwater. He said, "How long?" Yeah. He said, "I'm starting to get cold." He said, "You do it again." I can't breathe. That's Eric Thomas. That's fine. I Beyonce didn't eat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so his name's Eric Thomas. He's a famous. That like, shit got me hyped though. Yeah. Well, he's the one who fucking said it. Yeah. I was like, and then I'll everyone run through adopted a wall that. for this man. And everyone adopted it. And like, there's these random pages. They have like 2,000 followers, and they'll be like, "Oh, yo, there was a, there was a man. He was a guru, and he brought his like guy out. And he said, "Come out, walk into the water." Then he held his head underwater, nearly drowned him, and he said, "Is if if you want to be like, you see how bad you wanted air? If you want to be successful that bad, you'll get it." That's what success turns into air, dude. I just I can't. With the motivational stuff on Instagram, it just it drives me insane. It's like I like to find organic inspiration. Of course, I don't want to find inspiration that I'm forcing my that that is being regurgitated. That's what I'm saying. Don't when, regurgitate inspiration. Something to you've me. heard before it uninspires me. It does. It makes me upset. It makes me really look at me. I'm yelling. Yeah. I'm sorry. What were you saying? No, that's all I was gonna say. What else you got? No, I'm just uh, uh, another do and don't of animals. You're out on that. Um, motivational. Motivational. Uh, couples accounts. Yeah. And fan page accounts. Ooh, fan page accounts are weird. They're so fucking weird. Some of them are Why weird. are you following a fan page when you could just follow that person? Yeah. Wow. Deep. Come on. 
Uh, it's, and then some of them have like hundreds of thousands of followers. I don't get it. Now, like, you're the president of their fan club, basically. I think some people take pride in that, but I also think they're like 13. And they're like, I'm going to find every clip of Ariana Grande walking out of a hotel. Right. And I'm going to post it. Yeah. Like, w w would you follow your own fan page? No. You can't, right? No. A lot of people do, though. They follow their own shit. I think that's nice. I think, like, if somebody, like, built up a following that was so big, even though I hate it, mm -hmm. I would do it to be nice. Like, this, these people go, they, like, like me so much. It would only, like, help my image. But behind, like, closed doors would be like, this is fucking weird. You know what it is? I, I just was, I just can't relate to it. I'm not going to say it's, like, super weird because I don't even know if it is because I don't want to be a psycho and be like, oh, God, it's so weird. Like, I've just never been the person who's, in, like, starstruck. No. Nah. I'm not. I'm. I'm not either. You know, like I. I never. I never was that guy who was like, "Oh my god, this is my favorite person. I'm gonna buy all their posters. I'm gonna buy everything they ever put out, and like all the shit." Like I'm just not. I was just never attached to anyone that much. Right. So I don't. I don't relate to it. I don't get it. Why some people are. I. I don't get like fanaticism. Is that. Is that the right word? Yeah. I, I so. mean, I appreciate it because there are people who are. You know. Some are fanatics of this show. Yeah. I, I am more so like, I definitely appreciate people like my favorite comedians and my favorite athletes and my favorite whatever. Like I'll buy tickets, go to their show. Yeah. And like when, when there's some merch, like I'll buy it. But That's like, how I show like my fanaticism. Yeah. 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 But, when, but like fanatic and being a fan are different things. Yes. I mean, obviously they come from the same whatever, but like a fanatic to me is like, yo, I'm buying everything and I'm spending most of my time f like looking at what you're doing right that's when i start to feel like i don't know but i love it too like listen we sell merch on this show but it's like don't ever spend your last 20 dollars on a shirt from our show yeah don't don't do that, do that. that's don't, crazy like as much as i love you guys and like would love like money from all of you i'll shout my Venmo out at the end of the episode <laughs> but like <laughs> you know what i'm saying it's like that's like a fanatic to me like yeah. i would never like drive seven hours to see like one direction People do that shit. Some people fly to different countries for that. And, and good for them. And good for them in a way. I just I just never have understood it. Yeah. You know? I, or, I've, I've never. Yeah, I don't know. Like Even like with like athletes. I get it and, like I, and I don't get it. I get it and I don't because get it. But it's like with athletes though. There would have to be something planned around it. So like for instance, like we went to Denver. But we went to like go to do like a bunch of different things and if one of those things is see we went to a broncos game right it wasn't the reason why we went like i'm not even a fucking broncos fan like why would i go but like some people do that as well so i i can kind of get it on that level where it's like what's the difference if i really like one direction and they're playing in denver why can't i just go to denver to see them because you know if you're a fan, like if you're a fan of the broncos and you're like fuck it i'm gonna go to a broncos game this year I'm going to go to Denver yeah, and go see the Broncos. But I've, I'll be the first one to say that it's weird. It's like, why do we care about the Giants? Yeah, I, we, like, there's no the reason. Like, what the fuck do they do for us? Nothing. Nothing. And Except I always say, like, like, make us sad. She's like, yeah, we had a bad game last week. My dad's like, you're on the fucking team? I was like, what? He's it's, like, you're, what are you on the team? Why are you saying we? It's true. I was like, I don't know. And it's like, why do I care? I don't know. If the Yankees lose three games in a row. It affects my mood. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like, it's weird. Because, you know, it's like... It's I've like, yelled at people because the Giants lost. Yeah. Don't fucking talk to we me. We completely contradicted ourselves. I know. And it's true. It, you no, but, know? No, but you know what it is? It's like, I get it being like... I'm talking about... A, Personally. Of, Personally. A, of, a, of a person. Like, of one person. Yeah. You know, of a team in sports, I guess, like, yeah, that is a little hypocritical of being like, I'm a big fan of sports, and this is just my team in my city. You know, there's a lot of factors. But it's not, there. though. What? They play in New Jersey. They're the New York Giants. When's the last time they played in New York? Hey, man. All I'm saying, isn't that weird? <laughs> we have a New York team that plays in New Jersey. They can't build a fucking thing here. <laughs> Where are they going to go? They build they, 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 fucking places in Queens. They got that fucking dirt-ass team over there. What? They got the Mets over there in Queens. Oh, yeah. Brooklyn. They have a nice stadium, though. Yo, City Field is nice. So awesome. Yeah, it's very nice. I really want to go to a lot it's of really games. really nice. They have great beers, too. We should go to the Yankees. We should go to the Subway Series. Fuck yeah. Yeah, get that get that going. I think I go every year to that. I missed last year. I didn't go. Oh, I went. I sat real close. Yeah. And that's when I got kicked out. 
Remember that? Hell yeah. <laughs> Fucking drunk as shit. Man, I was drunk. You could get real drunk at baseball games and not even know it. Sneaks up on you. Uh, I get most times when I get drunk, I like not realizing. Yeah, I think when you and yeah. then I get so like I used to not care, like I used to like be uh, used to be the guy that's like, yo, I'm gonna get drunk as fuck tonight and like plan on it. Yeah, you know. Now when I get really drunk, the next day I'm like, oh, fuck, I'm embarrassed. I fucked up. But I don't even do anything crazy. Yeah. But I get embarrassed and. Sometimes I'll post to my story. Yeah. And if I think even like the slightest bit, like it hasn't happened in a while, but if I sound the slightest bit drunk, I'm like, oh, I have to delete that. Because I, I just get embarrassed now. I like when you get drunk and tell me to write things down. I tell you to do that? Oh, you don't even know. Do you know what you sent me the other night? I don't know. I'm not going to say it on here because it was kind of like personal. Personal. Okay. But you were like, write this down. Oh, it was like some inspirational. Yeah, thing. and I was like, yeah, I get hyped when I get drunk. I was like, yo, I was like, I'm getting really hyped, but I know Joe's drunk right now. So, <laughs> no, yeah, 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 no, no, no. You know why I do that? Because when I get drunk, and then if someone's having a conversation with me about what I do, right, then I get really amped. Yeah, because I'm excited about like the plans that I have and what I want to do with the future and blah blah blah. And then I just have to tell you because yeah, I'm like, you're yeah, a part of this. So yeah. I have to be like, yo, Danny, write this down. Like, like, I swear to God. You're like, write this down. I was like, it's in my phone. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's going to stay there. I literally went copy, notes, paste. All right, wrote it down. We're good. As long did as you, I don't lose my phone, we're good. Wait, did you actually put it in your oh, notes? Oh, I have everything. Wait, you have it in your notes? Yeah. Can I read it? You want to read it out loud? Well, it depends. I will read it. And don't read it out loud. I'm telling you. Okay, okay. Let me read it first. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see it. It's probably so obnoxious and just out of control. Yeah, it's pretty... I can't believe you put it in your notes, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually, like, I have this one friend. If he calls me after 10 p.m., I know he's drunk, and I never pick up his phone call because he always calls me <laughs> like, yo, dude, I found this guy from Sweden. He's going to do your merch. And I'm like, dude, who are no, you? he's not, like, at all. All right, not all of it's in here. I'm going to get all of it because I want you to read all of it real quick. No, no, no. Let me just see it. Let me just see it. Let me see what you have there. I have it right here. One okay, second. I'll remember once I see what you wrote. Don't look at all of it. No, because I I just want to make sure. I just want to double check. I just want to double check. You're going to scroll. Dude, we text all day. No, it's here because I have it. Oh, my God. Hey, it's listen. Good. Take it easy. For the sake of the show, you can just show me what you have in your notes. It's, you? it's right here. I can see in the reflection of your glasses, you're scrolling like a maniac. Here it is. I found the whole thing. All right. Because there's gifts in there, too. Oh, my God. That's why. That's why. Because the there's gifts. Are gifts. Yeah. He's reading it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's why the gifts make it better. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, I'm, yeah. Drunk texting Joe is one of the most inspirational drunk people of all time. I'll give everyone the abridged version. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Of what I said. I mean, it's more colorful <laughs> the way that I actually said it. But basically, I was saying, I, I admitted that I had some beers. Yeah, that's uh, you are perfectly honest from the jump. I said, yo, I've had some beers, but I need you to write this down. And then I said something about how I was going to hire all my friends yeah. eventually. Uh, and then I said, you know, Danny, why don't you... <laughs> I told Danny once he makes like a certain amount of money, he'll never make less than that. And, uh, all this stuff. And, yeah. I, and then I was just like, I'm just, I'm just warming up. And like, all these things. Yeah, well, but there was a, there was a lot of shit. Yeah, yeah. 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 And then I just completely ignored these texts. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the ironic part about all that. Right. So I texted all this stuff. Yeah. Sorry about, for the dead silence there, but he it, it had to get read through. So, so, the funny part about this, and it's just super ironic, is that I was talking about, obviously, you know, business and, like, things and, and whatever and what I want to do and what I plan on doing. And then the texts that I ignored <laughs> were immediately about, like, the basement yard. <laughs> it's just like, yo, by the way, do we have to upload this? Or, like, whatever. It just didn't fucking answer. Yeah, I don't care about that. <laughs> it's just all these things are going to happen. But I don't care about those things. You said, yo, did you upload audio for Patreon? Do you want me to do it? Didn't answer. And then took care of it. And I wrote, thank you. <laughs> That's amazing. That's the gifts in there are funny, too. That's why. Oh, my God. Yeah. But um, some do's of Instagram. Um, caption gain has to be right. We were about to write right back full circle. Huh? I had to. because Wait, the caption has to be right? Yeah, because like I hate long-ass captions. That's a don't. 
don't go super long. I understand if you want to write some things, that's fine. Yeah. Don't go super long. I don't want to go to see more. Oh. I yo, when you said that, I thought of the name Seymour. I was like, <laughs> who are we talking about? Keep them short and sweet. All right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And honestly, Instagram, use filters. Hmm. Why do you use something that was known for filters and you don't use filters? The Instagram filters are really bad. What's your first ever Instagram picture? Oh, it's from an Android, and it's a picture of my brother my, uh, but, and his two buddies in Hawaiian shirts. You're not in the picture. Not even in it. <laughs> <laughs> your first Instagram picture was of other people. Yeah, and then my second one is of my brother Jared holding, holding a rolling rock. When did you get into this Instagram? Like 2014. No, I mean like when did when did you get into the picture? Oh, oh. Your third one, fourth one? Yeah, I wasn't a big selfie person until like people started paying attention to me. Oh, I was very uh selfie oriented. You just say selfie oriented? Instead of self oriented, selfie oriented. Oh, I like that. Yeah, my first one's a selfie. You remember when there was the popular page? Yes. So I got to Instagram late. I did too. So when I got I had already had an audience so when I made the Instagram account, I had a lot of followers at first. And the first picture I posted made the popular page. And I was like, yo, I'm about to fuck. I'm about to fucking crush yeah, ass. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I got some, I got some fucked up pictures on there. Yeah. Um, another do of Instagram. Um, keep it to two posts a day. Unless you're like, House of Highlights? Yes. Unless you're like, yeah. Unless you show me like someone getting jammed on, post it up. Yeah. Sports ones, give me them all day. Give me them all day. Yeah. That's what I like. But I don't want to see. what I like. Yeah. Instagram. <laughs> Why did I do that? Yo, Bruno Mars, though, one of the most talented men in the world. Yeah, and he probably fucks mad pussy. Oh, yeah. Like, absolutely. Very goodly, too. Yeah. That dude For fucks. a very small man. Yeah, he's a small guy. He looks like a little Filipino woman. Yeah. Whoa. He does. He does. He does. He does. He does. He's got cool hair, though. Yeah. But he's definitely five nothing. Yeah. I would beat the shit out of Bruno Mars. Yeah, I'd probably beat him up, too. But he's got great teeth. He does. They're fake, though. Yeah, they're big and nice veneers. But yeah. he could dance and sing like a motherfucker. That he can. His voice is so good. Yeah, it's very I'll good. I'll beat the shit out of him. <laughs> yeah, I'll beat his little fucking Hawaiian ass. Yeah. But um, Is he Hawaiian? I think so. Let's just assume. Let's just assume. Let's just let's just put labels on people. Yeah. Also, the other thing too. <laughs> hashtags. Yes. Don't use them. Maybe <laughs> no. Nah. Here's what I'll say. Only way you'll use hashtags is if they're they pertain to like a certain audience. I will say I think that if you're starting a business, use hashtags. But if you're just a person, why are you hashtagging Monday motivation and and hashtag blessed? Yeah. Hashtag inspired. Inspo. Inspo. Finspo. Why don't you just finspo? Why don't you? What the fuck is that? Like finspiration? Like people who want to be thin? Oh fuck those people. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have a metabolism. Uh, but, <laughs> <laughs> but uh. You know, oh, it's like I never drank a lot. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> I ate so bad yesterday. Fucking assholes. Anyway, <laughs> did a fucking Polar Express? Did, pull I was up yo, that literally time? I was about to say, did the fucking Tom Hanks just pull up in the Polar Express? Well, you know what that sound means. Uh, you have your ticket? <laughs> no, but uh, it literally just sounded like a train just. Stopped I don't know what that was. Yeah, that was scary. That yeah, was a little scary. I don't like this. Remember that Hey Arnold episode with the train? Where they get stuck on the train? Yeah, but it's like it's like a it's like a Halloween train. What? It's like a uh, it's, it's like a Halloween special episode. I don't know, but I remember the homeless guy being like, "Get out of my house!" <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's so funny. It's that episode. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hashtag game. Don't use hashtags when you could just write the words. Like if you say, "I'm really inspired," just write, "I'm really inspired." I also don't get people who use hashtags like in the middle of their sentence. Like, I am really, and then hashtag inspired. To be blah blah blah. It's like, yo, just, yeah. just write your shit. Bro. I would say a do is is limit your hashtags. Limit those things. If it's not a business. All right. I don't want to see you hashtag. Blast. What else is your do? Um, Throw your titties in there? In the picture? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. At least one. At least one. Just so I can get a gauge. You know? 
<laughs> also, yeah. Instagram, a do, a do for you. Can you make these profile pictures zoomable? Can we click on them? Can we zoom, son? I'm trying to just just click. I just want to see. I got to do this and shit. You got to screenshot, crop it so it blows up a little bit. Whoa, never even thought of that. <laughs> Blew your mind there. Yo. Blow your mind. Big time. Yeah. Big time blown. Yeah. Big time blown? Big time blown. Yeah. <laughs> That's a funny term. Yeah. Yo, yesterday I got blown. <laughs> Big time blown. <laughs> she blew me. <laughs> what was it? It's such a weird thing to say. No one blows on your dick. Why do we call it blowing? Can you imagine? Hey, if someone did blow on my dick. Yo, first of all, you get air in my, my pee hole? Yeah, that, that'll hurt. That might be irreversible damage. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she was blowing me all that. She's doing the opposite of blowing. You know what's sucking? <laughs> sucking is literally the antithesis of blowing. Yes. Why are we saying blowing? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make any sense. And here's another thing. I feel bad because there's probably been a girl out there who thought a blowjob was to blow on someone's penis. Yeah, and she put her she put her mouth on that penis, and then she blew a big gust of wind into this pee hole. <laughs> and then this kid's dick exploded. Yeah. She turned, turned as you read the side. You know how a balloon you gotta hold it like this. You gotta, you gotta bite. You gotta bite the edges of the. You gotta. Also. Oh my god. Oh, oh, that feel good, baby. No, no, it does no, not. No, it does not feel good. I think you're doing it wrong. You're inflating my penis. Oh my god. Oh, somebody's done that. I guarantee you somebody's done that, man. Yeah. Cuz they they were just trying to be cool, just man. Just trying to blow that dick. Just trying to give a blow job, dude. I'd be oh. confused if I came here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like think about like in different languages. It's like, wait, you want them to suck your dick but they have to blow you? Yeah. Like make up your mind, yeah. dog. <laughs> that blow job definitely does not translate to other countries. No, it doesn't. Oh, uh, no, my god, that is funny. Oh, I also hate though that you have to bite on something to blow in it or pinch it, <laughs> like inflatable, like t like inflatable pool toys. Yeah, but so the air doesn't get out. Yeah, but oh, that's a lot of work, dude. Mm -hmm. You ever try to blow one of those things? I don't feel like I'm gonna die. Yeah, I've I've blown up tubes before, and and like you know when you start to see stars. Hell yeah. Yeah. You think also, that's what sucking penis is like? Hell yeah. You suck penis until you start. To, you start. <laughs> Hell fucking yes. <laughs> you start to see stars. That's a hard thing to say. Yeah, start, start to see stars. Yeah, yeah. I I almost messed it up. No, you kind of crushed it. No, though. but I'll tell you this: what? sucking a penis. That's rough, dude. Yeah. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah. For lack of a better word, like penises can't taste great. I'm sure it just tastes like a tit. <laughs> <laughs> Tits just taste like skin and like yeah 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 you know, no but a dick can get smelly though tits to, yeah, but tits can tits can gather some sweat too that's true but I'm just saying you know what I mean no but you know how like tits just like they have a taste they don't taste like cherries yeah yeah it tastes like a skin tit like a tit yeah and dicks probably taste like that yeah a little funkier though probably a little, probably a little saltier yeah 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 you know. But that's probably what it's like. Do you use baby wipes on your penis? For what? Like, like precoitus. You're asking me if I baby wipe my dick before sex? Yeah. Like, like. Uh, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. You haven't showered that day. I'll shower. You'll shower before sex. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're not going in there like dirt no. dick from like a couple no. days ago. I'm not trying to give someone like a yeast infection or something. Yeah, yeah. You can't I, go I don't in even there. know if that's how yeast infections happen, but Yeah. yeah. No. Or know. like a UTI. If yeah. I'm sweating all day and like, you know what I'm saying? Sweat a dirty penis. There there is nothing worse than when you pee and it hurts. Yeah. It is the worst. I had a massive U. Oh, well, not a massive one, but I had a crazy UTI in uh, high school. Was it one of those ones where you feel like you, you, you have can to keep I, peeing, but yeah. you can't, so you just go Yeah. 
<laughs> I had to, it <clears throat> felt like I had to pee 24/7 and I couldn't cuz like nothing would come out cuz I didn't have to pee my dick was just like I know. stinging. <laughs> yeah, I had, I had it was such from a... football though. Like my foot I never washed my practice pads. I just put I, it in my locker. I didn't either. So I like I, that's how I got my my UTI. Cuz I was not fucking, let me tell you. Okay. No, but I remember my UTI was so bad that I I just peed on the floor. I put a towel down there and would stand up and just go <clears throat> Why did you pee on the floor? Because I was getting tired of walking back and forth to the bathroom. Because that feeling of that you have to pee, but you can't pee, you know? And just those little droplets would come out. You pissed on your floor. I pissed on a towel that was on my floor. You didn't listen to me. And then on the last episode, two episodes ago, you said I said common when I clearly said push a T. I thought you said common. No. I'm going to show you. But You pissed on your floor. Yeah, I tried to get away from that. No, you did. Yeah, I so did. I did. I'm fucking proud of it. <laughs> <laughs> dicks oh don't taste God. like tits, bro. No, dicks, dicks and tits are probably the similar taste. Oh, what did you find out? I'm good. Ask a girl. Oh, ew, dude. I didn't know if you were you want suggesting to suck my penis just now. I thought you were trying to make me suck your penis. I would never make you suck my penis. Not well, in this I wouldn't time. even agree with it. No. Not in this time? Not like, no, I can't do that these days. Can't make people do stuff. So were you saying like in the 90s it would have been a different story? Yeah, like we could have hit it off maybe. 70s more likely. Yeah, but 90s, 50s. 50s now we're... 50s, fl- I don't even think we would have been allowed to be friends. Yeah, probably. I don't think so. <laughs> Let alone suck each other's dicks. Yeah, imagine like being gay in like times of like the why I honor like being gay like during that time when everybody talked like that. I wonder what gay people talked like back then. What kind of question is that? <laughs> You're talking about when people are, would end everything, every sentence with like say. Say, I want to suck your penis, say. <laughs> I'm gay, Mary. <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I said. I'm gay. All right. I have sex with a mailman, see? Can't you see? Can't you see that I like penis now? People talk like that. Yeah, like A Wonderful Life on Christmas. I always watch it. What do you want, Mary? You want me to throw a lasso on the moon and pull it down and put it in my pocket? And suck its dick? And suck the, the moon's <laughs> penis? Because I'm a gay man, Mary. Every time a bell rings, an angel gets his dick sucked, Mary. <laughs> oh, man. Being gay in black and white is awesome. Oh, my God. There were... Why do I feel like everything was black and white back then? Like people lived there was in no black. color. <laughs> there was no color. Everyone lived in black and white. I feel like everyone only rocked brown pants, though. Hell yeah, that's hard what, body. That's what I think. And like people didn't start smiling in pictures until like like the eighties. Yeah, I think they waited. They waited that out. Yeah, everyone was a miserable fuck back then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do you like smiling in pictures? Yeah. I don't really like it. Oh, I know. It makes me feel weird. Why? I don't know, because it's like, hey, what's up? I'm ready to take a picture. Let's be super happy for three seconds, and then just go back to being normal face. Well, you don't go super happy. You go medium. Look, this is medium happy. That's medium happy? See, I think this is medium happy. That is, that's what I did. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when people are like... I hate that. You're I not that say, happy, dude. You know David Dobrik? Yeah. That kid's pictures... Love, love, love the kid to death. Yeah. But man, your pictures drive me fucking nuts. Yeah. That kid's pictures are, all, he's always got his mouth open. He's always like, yeah, throw something in with here. his tongue. Yeah. Like, again, like, I'm like, dude, take it easy. Yeah. Are you ever just like in a normal mood? Why are you always like, <laughs> blown away at all times? Yeah. I can't. I can't. No, and honestly, it's... if it is genuine, I don't fuck with him even more because I don't, I don't enjoy that kind yeah, of now, happiness. Now, yeah, now I'm jealous. Now, now you're too happy. I'm jealous of your happiness. That's what I'm saying. I'm, and I hate it. You need to calm, You need to turn down the happiness. Yes. Just close your fucking mouth for a yeah. second. Can't you just be sad like a normal person? For one second. That's all I'm asking. Dave? One snap. One, one sad snap. That's what I'm saying. You know? Enough with your fucking smiling. Yeah. It's true. You're so fucking right. Anyway. <laughs> This is one of those episodes where I don't remember anything we talked about. Me neither. It's going to be hard to come up with a title for this one. Anyway. Uh, but um, do you have any do's and don'ts of Instagram before we go? Anything that you really hate? 
don't feel like you have to squeeze lemons in your eyes and get kicked in the nuts and chug a beer yeah. in the same video in order to get followers. Yeah. That's my that's my deal. That's great advice. Yeah, that's don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. And also, I don't want to see you work out with your fucking partner either. <laughs> <laughs> fucking push up kisses make me sick. Oh my god! Don't P- you pull ups? Uh, mwah, mwah. I'm trying to compete. I'm doing more fucking push ups than you. Yeah, I'm kissing you. Mm-hmm. Out here working. You right? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I got fired up. It's okay. It's all right. But, anyway, uh, I think we can wrap this up. Danny, where can they find you? You can find me at Daniel Priori on Twitter and Instagram, please. Uh, guys, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Joe Santagato. Also, I just started a newsletter, so if you want to uh, not miss any of the content that I put out or any of the content that comes out of Santagato Studios, you can sign up by going to joesantagato.com, and there'll be like a button right there that says newsletter, and then just like you'll sign up through there. You know what's going on. Do we have a link for that in the description? Of what? Of the channel? Of the episode? Oh, we could. We don't, but we could put it there. I'm going to throw it in there for y'all. I'm going to throw it in there for y'all, y'all. Pow! Also, our Patreon, patreon.com slash the basement yard. Been getting a lot of love on there, too. Appreciate all of that. We're trying to reach 1,500 uh, patrons so that Danny can get a raise, mm. which he probably, I don't know if that's actually going to happen, but we'll see Perhaps if, not. if it gets there. Um, but, yeah, so shout out to everyone who's been doing that. Patreon.com slash the basement yard. And that yeah. is all. See you guys next time. Peace.